Here at Hallandale Beach in Florida, they have professional year-round lifeguards. In fact, they'll be on duty here real soon. But in much of the country, as you pointed out, there is indeed a shortage, especially in areas where there are seasonal swimming things like going to the beach, going to the pool. And with an economy like we have right now, a very inexpensive day at the beach might be inviting. But absent a lifeguard, it could also be dangerous. As summer heats up, some families are cooling down in the water at their own risk. A major lifeguard shortage is leaving many beaches unguarded and pools understaffed, forcing some to close. The American Lifeguard Association estimating one third of the nation's public pools are impacted. Summer's brutal, and if you can have an outlet that's cheap, some location, most locations free for kids. That is just priceless. And swimming in unsupervised waters can be dangerous. In Falmouth, Massachusetts on Saturday, two beachgoers reportedly saw a man struggling in the ocean and pulled him to safety, performing CPR until first responders arrived. Police said there were no lifeguards nearby. It's a nationwide problem from Cape May, New Jersey, still looking to hire two dozen beach lifeguards to Austin, Texas, struggling to fill about half of its 750 public pool lifeguard positions as temperatures soared to triple digits across the southwest over the weekend. Outside it's hot, so you can just like chill off in the pool. The shortage is caused by a wave of factors. Young people have plenty of other job options to choose from and training courses were canceled during the pandemic. Some pools looking to pull in new lifeguards by upping salaries. Six Flags St. Louis is offering $18 an hour to lifeguards, plus a $500 bonus. With fewer eyes on kids in the water this summer, experts say it's more important than ever for kids to learn to swim early. We go to the beach and to the pool a lot. I wanted to make sure that she will be safe. I'm, of course, always watching her. Experts say that's key. Parents or guardians should be a second set of eyes, even if a lifeguard is on duty. Use a buddy system, the two in, two out rule. And less experienced swimmers should wear life jackets approved by the U.S. Coast Guard in the pool or at the beach. Cooling down safely as this week brings more scorching heat. So whether you're going to a beach or a pool with or without a lifeguard, the best advice is you should also keep your eyes on those who are swimming and ignore the phone because in way too many cases, those who've experienced a tragedy say, I, I only looked away for a moment. A second, yeah. Of course, we look at our phones much longer than one second. Yeah. Guys? I think a lot of parents not only have their eyes on their kids, but every yeah. other kid that's out yeah. there. Yeah. All right, Carrie, thank you. And not when you're swimming. You know, yeah. a lot of times people think, well, we're not even swimming, but yeah. sometimes that's when the accidents yes. happen, when yeah. you're somewhere else and the kid exactly. talks. Another, Another sign one. of summer, Carrie yeah. Sanders showed up for work without pants on, yeah. no shoes. Yeah. Well, shorts, he was yeah. wearing shorts. Oh, well, yes. Sure. Yeah, it makes it sound <laughs> just <laughs> terrible. Well, Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.